Good night. <laughs> In the program tonight, I'm showing you how to be making a hot and spicy curry. And it will be repeated tomorrow morning. <laughs> and I will also be showing you how to make papadums. Now, dear dear, that is a papadum. <laughs> and that is a mamadum. <laughs> now, the curry I am going to show you how to be making this week is one of my very own recipes. Actually, it is being an Anglo-Indian vegetable and ham dish. The vegetables being from India and the ham being from England. So I am naming it the Richard Mahatmaburra Gandhi curry. <laughs> For this king of curries, you will be needing one pound of ham, one pound of diced okra, one half pound of chickpeas, and one half pint of single cream. And about half a teaspoonful each of garam masala, cumin, fenugreek, kalonji, coriander, black mustard seed, yellow mustard seed, <laughs> maize, nutmeg, hot green chili, hot red chili, dill, pangang, capsicum, cardamom, cinnamon, fennel, juniper, cloves, cayenne, turmeric, cream, and hardy, willis, saffron, and salt. <laughs> Here we go. I'll put those in there like that. And if you haven't got any of these, don't worry. Just use an oxo cube. <laughs> together in the big pot and you cook for about one and a half hours at 300 degrees or if you're not in a hurry for your curry 300 hours at one and a half degrees <laughs> and do not be worrying if you did not manage to get all that down you can always buy my book which accompanies the series price nine pounds 95 pence or eight pounds 95 direct from the bbc <laughs> bombay book club <laughs> now with this curry, I recommend the stuffed pilau rice. Pilau rice is the thing to eat with this. And to be making perfect stuffed pilau rice, you will need one pint of water and six ounces of basmati rice. And you cook for 40 minutes and you stuff it into a pilau. Like that, you see. Now, <laughs> first, of course, you must remove the original stuffing from the pilau. Now, I am not knowing what this pilau is stuffed with. So I'm asking the producer on the phone. Hello? <laughs> oh, gracious, that is a cucumber. Uh -huh. The question is, where is the phone? And the answer is, it is in this bowl covered with yogurt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> however, however, I have here another telephone that I prepared earlier. <laughs> Producer, blessings upon your house, sir. Tell me, oh, why is an all seeing, all drinking one? <laughs> what is this pilau stuffed with? I said, what is this pilau stuffed with? <laughs> no, I, I am, I am ducking down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the pilau is stuffed with duck down, of course. <laughs> This will be very useful. Thank you, sir. You're a bit late, but hurry up and get here. This will be a very useful in next week's program entitled Indigestion with Indian Food or How to Keep Your Bombay Duck Down. <laughs> now, what about a starter? Well, if you are following correctly the recipe for my hot and spicy curry, you will not be needing a starter. You'll be needing a stopper. <laughs> is something to stop you eating too much and getting too full because it is so delicious. Now, I am making a starter anyway. Any old way I shall make a starter. And I have chosen an old favorite, tandoori chicken. Now, this particular recipe was given to me by a friend of mine, Mohammed Nazir, sometimes known as Marinade Nazir, because he left his wife overnight. <laughs> He's thinking about that one. Now, <laughs> We will be making the marinade, which the chicken will then stand in or run around in if you are marinating it before you kill it. <laughs> and for the marinade, you would need salt, yogurt. We have plenty of yogurt here and the red food coloring. You put all those in the bowl like that <laughs> and half a juice of a whole lemon. Now, if you have not got a whole lemon to take half the juice of, just use the whole juice of half a lemon. <laughs> well, it's the same thing. Work it out. <laughs> For the chicken, which must now be skinning and quartering. Now, many people are finding this difficult, you see, but it's not difficult at all if you are doing it like I'm telling you, which is by taking your little knife like this and cutting through the skin like this, you see, through there, across there, around there like that, and around this side here, 
from elbow to breakfast time, right, Rhonda? <laughs> now it is simple to be pulling the skin up. You just take the skin, skin in the hand. No, you just take the. <laughs> Simply nail it to the board like that. That's it. Now you will be able to get a grip. <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> that is the way. Now you simply take it. <laughs> and there is a photograph of the completed chicken. Ready to serve. Now, lastly, and finally, it is my time for my last week's deliberate mistake. I wonder how many of you were getting it right. Some, perhaps, but not Mr. Gerald Watkins of Peterborough, who, after failing to notice that in the recipe for Rogan Josh, I should have said one teaspoonful of chili powder and not one dustbinful. <laughs> he has since been in hospital. There he is recovering from the world's first bottom transplant. <laughs>